Who supports AFSPA in the Northeast? It might sound like a simple question, but it is not. For now, we would not be wrong to say that support for AFSPA is more of a person-specific position. So there is every chance that there are thousands, say in Assam, who will support AFSPA in their state and other states because, well, I'm sure they have their reasons. But it also won't be wrong to say that when it comes to AFSPA, almost every other community, social bodies, civil society organizations and several famous politicians have, in no uncertain terms, condemned it and called for an end to what they call a draconian act. Why do they call it draconian? Well, I don't know. Heard of this thing called post-1947 history of Northeast India? Pretty popular. I tell you, you may consider reading about it. In recent times, and especially in the light of the Manipur violence, it became clear that the chance of AFSPA removal from Northeast was more unlikely than Amit Shah saying, we have no clue what is happening in Manipur. So it came as no surprise when AFSPA was extended for six months in Manipur. But there was an exception, of course. 19 police stations were excluded, and it takes no effort to guess where those police stations are. And just pointing it out, I did not make that list. Imphal, Lamphel, City, Singjamai, Sekmai, Lamsang, Patsoi, Wangoi, Porampat, Hengang, Lamlai, Irilbung, Lemakhong, Thobal, Vishnupur, Nambol, Moirang, Kaching, and Jiribam. So, no AFSPA in the valley which has been witnessing so much violence in the region for five months now. Interestingly, AFSPA remains in force in the rest of the region. Now, Kuki bodies have time and again called for AFSPA in the valley and, of course, they believe they have the right reason for so. But wait, why are the Naga regions of Manipur under AFSPA? I mean, while the rest of Manipur have been burning for five months now, regions like Ukrul are organizing squash festivals. How much more normalcy can a region show for AFSPA to come to an end? No wonder, then, that the United Naga Council, or UNC, an apex Naga civil body, vehemently opposed the continued imposition of the Armed Forces Special Powers Act of 1958 in Naga areas. The UNC stated that the extension of AFSPA to Manipur, excluding the 19 police stations in Imphal Valley for another six months with effect from October 1st, is arbitrary, biased and discriminatory. The Naga body alleged that the exemption of areas under 19 police stations in Imphal Valley, which has been gripped by violence and lawlessness since May 3, 2023, in sharp contrast to the AFSPA coverage in the peaceful Naga areas in the state, is highly questionable. The routine extension of the draconian law in Naga areas, in spite of peaceful and normalcy that have prevailed since the signing of the Indo-Naga ceasefire on July 1, 1997, and also the framework agreement between the Government of India and the NSC and IMM, on 3rd August 2015 reflects lack of sincerity of the Government of India and the Government of Manipur with regard to the Indo-Naga peace process. That is what the UNC said. The Naga civil body further urged the Government of India to immediately withdraw the same from the Naga homeland and restore confidence and goodwill in the Indo-Naga peace process. The present unrest in Manipur due to the ethnic crisis between the Meite and Kuki communities has resulted in 170 deaths and displaced nearly 60,000 people. Now hear me out. Is East Mojo advocating for Aspa in the valley? No. The valley has a painful relationship with Aspa and way too many civilians have been massacred in the name of this law for anyone rational to support such a draconian law against a community. As we had shown in our previous video, support for AFSPA among cookies is mainly because they see it as the last protection against Meite insurgents. Are they right? Are they wrong? You decide. But exactly what do the Naga territories have to do now? They have remained peaceful even when Nagas were targeted. They have called time and again for peace in the region and despite differences with both cookies and Meites, they have at no point targeted any community. If even after all this, AFSPA remains in place, is the centre telling the Naga community that we do not trust you, no matter what you do? That no amount of peace and stability will change the ground reality? Does the government think Naga territories are next in line for violence? And if yes, how will we ever reach a peaceful Northeast? Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to East Mojo. For any queries, put them down in the comments section below and press on the bell icon for notifications.